see how high this is off the water of this find? I was just here two days ago. This is how much it changes. That's why I come walk it all the time. See, there's a flake of chert right here, Indian. There's a nice plug that's floating in here on that thing with good enough hooks that they can be saved. Uh, that's some kind of off now. It's a flicker shed. That's, you know, probably a $7.99 lure. Good find. You know, I'm really into fishing. I just didn't have time to do it with all this. And that, I love that chartreuse color on lures for the higher River. Whoever was fishing with this was, probably has six or seven more of them in their tackle box because it's such a good plug. So if you fish, try that one. I can tell you it works. Lay that. All right, here's a little bit more in depth on this, why there's gravel here. Um, the stuff's all grown up here now. That is like in the winter time, just a cut bank with dirt. You can see the layers coming out. There's no big rocks in it, except stuff that's dumped over the top um, or gravels. Th this, is, this sand here is ancient. This is what the Indians were setting on, living on. It was real sandy. You can see it coming out. Um, the gravel, there's a thin layer of it in the side of that bank. Like, I don't know, that thick. And it's all this. And I'd say that it washed in during an ancient flood. And it's gravel out of the river, channel of the river. None of it's real big. This is about the size of it. That's the biggest stuff in the bank. Then you come down here and you see, see this cracked up sandstone? It's all fractured and red. Here's a little bit of harder stone. It's some kind of low quality stuff that popped open. You can see it's been fired. That's campfire rock in gr natural gravel that's washed in. Um, there could have been a creek coming out here anciently right in through here washing this gravel into that bank, but I think it's from a flood. Um, I'd have to talk to a geologist, but you see why. Right here, fire rock. See how it's fractured and it's red and black? Um, this stuff is just gravel that's washed in. You have to be able to identify that. And in the gravel, this right here is chert. Let me bust this open and I'll show you. It just looks like a, this is what the points are made out of. That's why there's cortex. See, this is all the cortex of the pebble. The chert's on the inside. Just hold on. Let me find a piece of like a hammer stain here of hard stain. I need kind of a one with a little weight to it so it's like right here this ought to work that's a perfect one kind of a gray fossil chert in it see how i got an edge on it right there just with that hammer i could make a point out of this with per just only percussion doing no using several different kinds of pebbles like one like this and then maybe find one bigger like this that's thin to notch it you make one easy in just minutes it's hard getting thinning this down in places some of the knots in the river cobble you kind of need to pressure flake that but that's the idea hope that explains some stuff i'm looking hopefully i can make a vine later right here's base clay now right above it it's pulled this stuff down. See how it's cut up in there? Pulled it down and it's settling in here. Here's a rock. Might find something in here. I'll get back when I sift this down. We'll see what's in here later. See, this looks pretty good. There could just be a point laying in any one of these screens. See right there, broken up river cobble, just like I showed you with the cortex on it. An Indian did that, and here's like a piece of red heat treated stuff right there is a flake of like crooksville with no, the nodule or the cortex on the outside it's hard to tell what's in here i'll look around later see these old big tree stumps here in the river sticking out of the water Sometimes when I'm in 10, 12 feet of water on a clear day, I'll see old gray trees that are laying down there. The water used to be way dramatically lower than it is now. Um, that's why I'm finding so many points. The water's higher and it's washing right into where the Indians lived. So. They're like a 
like a natural stain. They're called like concretion containers, I think. It's like the concretion on the outside of a nodule that broke off and it's, they wear like that. That one's rubbed on there. The Indians were using these because I find them all the time, right, right in with flint and right around fire pits. I don't know what they were doing with them, maybe rubbing paste in there, but you can see how that's flattened on the bottom. It'll have, and it even feels like it's got some use. That's kind of cool. All right, here's the one I found in this video I picked up, and you know, these are like natural stones, but they've been manipulated by ancient man. I found them right in the middle of Indian sites. You look at this one under magnification, it has used polish on the inside and around the edge, and this one has used polish all around the edge and in the middle. So these are pretty, they're like stone bowls, natural ones that have been manipulated. They're pretty cool, and I found at least 25 of these on my channel, right where I'm finding airheads. They were being utilized. Later. All right, it's been 48 hours since I've been right here in this spot. Um, I picked up every flake of chert last time I was here. That's why I do it, so I can see what's washing out. See the fire rock? Right there's a little piece of like raised colored chert, a finishing flake. This is what I look, and you can see how the waves have hit here and have sucked the stuff into the water. The water's up a foot from the last time that I've been here, so it washed a whole new area sanded it in where it was washed before but that'll wash all out see that's a crane a herring right there i saw him fly out of here these are real fresh real long and legged things see there's another little flake of gray right there a finishing flake looks like maybe a flake right there it is another little finishing flake another tiny one right there just micro flake look at them it's all manufacturing flakes from ancient artifacts you see there could be just a smoker laying out right here, flat out. Right there's the base clay, it's washing all this. See, look here. There's another little sliver of real high quality flint. It's even translucent, it looks like upper Mercer. Off the manufacturer of an artifact. See, you know there's artifacts here. I'll get back if I see anything else. See this right here, it looks like there's nothing here. There's places that have a foot of mud on them. I found 50 airheads right here, right on this beach. At least that many, maybe even like close to 100. I mean, a lot of artifacts. If you count all the tools and stuff, just so many pieces. Conditions are everything on the river. A, a wind could come in here and sand this in. There could be 100 airheads laying here. If you were just surface hunting, you'd never know till you stick in the shovel and look for that gravel layer and see what's in it. You have to do the test screens. Hope that helps. Just because you get went to a place and you didn't find nothing doesn't mean it's the best archaeological site you've ever walked across. You have to use the sifter on the river. Later. Well, this stopped me in my tracks. Just explaining that walking this walk line, walking through here real fast, and right here's one just laying flat out. And man, that, well, I guess it's notched on the side there. That looks like a lance or something. It might be a stem one, let me see. It's, oh, it's nicely made. Look at that. Not all these lances are ground either. Uh, that's got shoulders on it. And it's that green just like I talked about in one of my last videos. Look at it. This is kind of good quality stuff. You can see it's translucent around the edges. I'll show you with a good camera and a light source, but that ain't bad. It's made good. Not the best point I ever found by any means, but that ain't bad. It's got grinding right in there. Real polished up into that little, some kind of like, I don't know what to call that. Huh. Well, I'm glad I came out, it's fine anyway. See, it's even got like a fleeting channel there. It's more like a basal thinning strike, but see it? Right there. Looks like they attempted it over here to thin it more, but there's a stack right here. That would be hard to get off. I'd probably come in here, pressure flake it right in here. I could probably get a flake to come off down through and thin that but I think that's what they did and they just had it good enough so they that's kind of nice I like the material later all right here's a look at the point you can see the translucency of it around the edges this is kind of the lower this is almost the consistency of black and all chert, but you can see it's green it's a pretty well made piece um, you know, it's in, let me get this to where it can, you can see the tree, it's around the edges. 
the higher quality of it, the whole middle of it had laid up like that. There's varying degrees of this, but this is kind of an interestingly formed point. I don't know what to call this. Look at that basal thinning stroke I talked about in the video when I found it. You can see it's they've taken two off. It's almost paper thin right there, and they left that one stack, but that thing was definitely hafted, and I'd say it's some kind of dark. Um, hmm. That's not bad. Look at that. Nicely made. Kind of looks like a stem paleo piece right there. You add in the basal thinning. Hmm. What do you think? Put it down in the description. Not a bad looking piece for laying out like it was. Later. Well, I'll go over this real quick. Um, where I found that green point in this video, I found other paleo points there in the past, even fluted points. Where my fluted point come from, pretty on video. Um, but you see these lancelets. Some of them are stemmed. And you come down in here, see how this one kind of has the notch here on this side and kind of see the... And this one has the irregular base that you can see in the hafting area, the notches like the one that I found. I'm pretty sure that from what I found there, and you can see some of them are rough like that lop top corner one there see how it's kind of got the base on it they're thin they're thinner than Clovis which that point that I found I showed you the cross section that's why I said it was nicely made and this would be in a high lancelet that piece transitional paleo to early archaic 10,500 to 8,000 years before present so an old old piece and I'm 80% that's what it is you know maybe more than that hope you enjoyed later Okay, see how the waves have hit this sandy beach? There's rock in that. I can stick my shovel in there and feel it. Feel the rock. It's a loose material because it's been wet. It's loose sand. It's all displaced material out of that bank. But you can see how the waves have hit this. The water was out in here yesterday. But see how the waves are hitting it and the stuff's trickling down? And then you get out here in the water and the way the wave action works and comes in, it cleans this stuff off. This is, this is arrowhead soup artifact soup if there's arrowheads here this is where they're at so i hope that helps or right there laying flat out on a day like today like that last arrowhead just be laying flat out on the sand like i've seen them eight nine yards away up the beach just laying like that you can see this looks good you got to keep your eyes peeled looking this i find points all the time laying in the water like this you can see all the gravel you believe me you see them the flint pops You'll get used to do it, seeing it and see there could be a point laying up in here anywhere. There's little pieces of ancient cracked up fire rock that's tumbling down this bank. See it? These are all ancient campfires. There's flakes. See there's a little finishing flake right there, a real tiny one. You can see all of this stuff laying here. It's washed off. It's like it rains on it every day. Lady. All right. This is very important too, finding arrowheads. I'm looking for the base clay. There's gravel here, right on the base clay here, mixed with fire rock. I'm about hitting the bottom of where the arrowheads will be right in there. Um, every place there aren't arrowheads. You might be into a layer like this, but if you're not seeing little tiny flakes, this is a test hole to see if I'm going to dig here. I'm going to fill my screen. What I do, I feel it so you can't really get no more in it. Overfill it. And then in the screen... I look for flakes from the manufacture of ancient artifacts, fire rock, or whatever else is on the site. You'll know, do this like every 20 yards down the beach on different levels of the beach as the water goes down. Do a few, it don't take long to test out a site. If you're seeing 20, 30 flakes in a screen, you're really on an awesome site. And that's what it was like when I first got here. But I take all the flint. Um, I haven't sifted in this spot of this site for a while. So that's why I'm testing it. And I'm looking for flakes. If I see more than two or three in here, it's worth doing some screens. Right here's one. Real beautiful finishing flake. Of real high quality, like, I don't know, translucent stuff. I don't even know what to call it. So there's one. I don't see any points or nothing, but you can see the little gravels and stuff in the fire rock. 
Only one flake it looks like. But I'll do a few more here. That's all I see. I don't see any other ones. One little tiny flake. It's real nice stuff though. Laid up. All right, I moved up the shore a little bit. Found a couple more flakes in that next screen down there, but I want to be seeing more than that. So we're doing a test screen up here, out in the water. This is what I do all day long. See, this looks excellent, the material, but I've sifted in here in the past a lot. Yeah, there's like, yeah, there's a little crude end scraper right there. It's right on that end, but it's a junker. And it's thundering in the background. There's several flakes in this one. There's another one, the chunky piece. Didn't see any points or nothing there. But look at all the fire rock, man. A lot of it. Probably won't dig here either. I'll look for another spot. I'll get back. See, there's another little tiny finishing flake right there. Here's another one. See, you really have to go through your screens and look at this stuff real meticulously get back for seeing anything all right i'm further down the river now this area here looks good just from eye right here finishing flake from the manufacturer of ancient artifacts another step another one i saw them all through here they're just you have to look real close yeah here's another one right here there's tiny little pieces here real micro ones but this looks good this is the kind of places you want to See how it's come up and touched this and washed it all off? There could be points laying here anywhere, and that's where, how, why I sift. If I start seeing flakes laying, I'll put my shovel in here and try to find a point. Well, this place looks good to sift right here, but you can hear the thunder rumbling in the background. I assume you heard that. I hope you did. It just did. Um, I'm not going to stand in the water here because I saw some lightning flashes too, and I don't want lightning to hit while I'm in the water. So I'm getting out of here. I'll get to a place and sift. Yeah, I knew it was going to rain today, so this isn't even a great spot. And I still came up with an arrowhead. I've been here about two hours farting around. Got a whole pocket full of flint out of my screen. Nothing worked. I usually find something in my screen, but today I just found one laying out right in this wash line like this. So look at this. It's all washed out. Could be an artifact laying right here. There are artifacts, bricks, pieces of old bottles. I saw a broken one up here. I'll show it to you, and then I'm getting out of here. Um, well, right there's an artifact. There's a nutting stain. It's not a nice one. See, the hole right there has been popped apart. It's been fired. See, another one on the backside. An Indian's had that in their hand. Um, I'll show you this bottle. I'll get back when... Well, actually, I think it's right in here someplace. It was an old one like 1885 or something hold on i think it's right up here it's broken but man it would it looks like some kind of old like historic flash piece or something let me see it's right around in here somewhere right here you see look old brick now look at this oh man look at that oh that's an old flask look at the color on that whoa and it had something on it probably 1885 or in 1890 that's old glass that would have been awesome should take that to nap an arrowhead out of look at that well, anyway, that's it on this one. Hope the tips helped. Got that nice point. I'll get him film some clips of it up close and see the translucent and see that cool green stuff. And I'll get back out probably tomorrow. It's going to rain, so I can't dump dig. I am going to uh, probably go up a river where I found. I found four points up here in one day around one little root ball. I'll probably go to that area. Later, get back on my next one. I had to wake him up. He's still kind of sluggish, but... He'll get right into the freedom I brought him. Look, he's got two different kinds of kiwis. He likes them ones there better than these ones. You want some of this? You like them other ones better, don't you? Are they good? 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and this is my pet squirrel, Squirrel Man. He's in lots of videos. Tell him, Squirrel Man, you're a good boy, buddy. Look at him. Right. Have a good one, folks.